for joining me today on my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Karen. I hope you'd consider sticking around and subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. So today's video is going to be just a little bit casual. Um, I was scrolling through YouTube one day and I came across... Um, Someone had posted a video on like YouTubers I watch now or something like that. And that just got me thinking my subscription um, list has changed quite a bit as I've gotten older. And some of the people I used to follow I don't follow anymore. I just, you know, for whatever reason maybe they're just not interesting me. They're not doing the kind of looks I would do. Whatever it may be. I'm not, I don't feel like I could relate. You know, whatever. Um, so... I am going to share with you some of the YouTubers that I still follow that are the big YouTubers. Um, I would say easily, you know, 500,000 plus kind of YouTubers. Um, I'll put a picture of them right over here so you can see who I'm speaking of. Um, but I'm going to share with you who I watch, that's the big ones, and why I still follow them. So I have my phone right here and I've got my coffee, so let's go ahead and get started. Off, let me pull up my subscriptions and I follow quite a few youtuber um, women in the mature community um, but this is really based really more on the younger girls and why I still follow them because you know there's so many things I can't relate to but yet there's reasons why I still follow them if that makes sense so the first one is Raw Beauty Christy. She, I, I came across her. She's got just under 400,000. I came across her, um, I think it was at a Halloween. She does really great Halloween tutorial videos. And I think that's when I first followed her. And that was a couple of years ago. So um, she is extremely talented. And I really like her personality. Um, the only thing I could maybe do without a little bit is she does kind of um, curse a little bit on her channel. Not crazy bad, but she does a little bit. But um, I like her personality. I like how she um, is still very humble. And frankly, I think she deserves a lot more um, followers than she has. But um, if you're into um, different styles of makeup and stuff, I highly recommend um, you checking her out. Uh, the next one I want to share is Jessica Braun. She was known as um, Jam Beauty 89 I think she's trying to get away from that a little bit because she tends to go more by Jessica Braun. Um, but she's got just under 500000 and she's really sweet. And what made me... Uh, start to follow her I think was she's a teacher and my daughter's uh, just becoming a teacher and I think she did a video on like her classroom or setting up her classroom or something and that's how I found her and I really like her um I wouldn't say she does very extreme you know uh, makeup looks I really don't follow her for that she does a lot of declutters and a lot of reviews and I do like those um, when it comes to more like skills and makeup and stuff, you know, I think she's just pretty basic, average, you know, she's not a professional makeup artist, but I really like her personality and I really like her reviews. So, um, I would, you know, consider checking her out. Uh, let me see who else I have. Um, another one, Jen Loves Reviews. If you have not ever watched her you need to watch her anyone that's a makeup lover needs to watch her she has so few subscribers and i have no idea why she has not quite two hundred thousand. that cannot be right is it really i don't i don't get it i don't know why she doesn't have more she does um a daily what's up in makeup with the latest, like a minute long video of the latest news break kind of, kind of things of, um, you know, products being shown and stuff. And then she does a Sunday um, video that's kind of like in a news kind of forum. And I love it. It's all about 
what makeup is on sale, where the new products are, she does indie makeup. I absolutely look forward to watching her videos on Sundays. Highly, highly recommend her. She puts so much work into her videos that I don't know why she doesn't have way more people following her. Another one I like to follow is Luster Lux. Her name's Katie. Um, I love watching her. She's got um, almost 2 million subscribers. I like her personality. I like her vlogs with her and her husband. They're dog lovers, as am I. And she is not only super funny, super down to earth, um, but then I like watching her more like lifestyle type videos, her decorating videos, things like that. And then she's uber, uber, uber talented. So I um, highly recommend her. Uh, Jackie Ina, this is another one that I love. She's got two and a half million subscribers. She is so funny. <laughs> I love her personality. I love, oh my gosh, I just love watching her. Every time her video pops up that she made a new one, I'm so excited to watch it. I crack up every single time. She is so much fun to watch. Highly recommend her. Uh, let's see, as I'm scrolling about here, I mean, there's quite a few. I'm just picking out some of the bigger ones. Um, Desi Perkins, she's gorgeous, and she, oh my goodness. What I like about Desi Perkins, oh, let me tell you what she has. She has three million. What I like about her is she is drop-dead gorgeous, um, like model kind of gorgeous, but she has no problem going bare face making fun of herself, you know, I mean, she's very, like, humble, I guess. I don't get the impression that she's flashy at all, and I like that because, you know, I don't like it when people look over, like, I've dropped a few people, actually, that are way too flashy with their success, and it really bothers me, so she hasn't done that to me, so I highly recommend her, and she's extremely skilled um, with her looks as well. Um, let me see who else I have down here. Stephanie Nicole. Uh, if you are a lover of skincare, she's a must. Absolutely a must. She's got 500,000 subscribers. She is a go-to. I will punch in her name and then right after it, whatever the item is. Like, let's say, you know, toner. And I'll do Stephanie Nicole toner and then see what videos come up that she's talked about toners in. And... She does such in-depth reviews and products and when to do the products and what order to do the products. I absolutely love. That's another one that I'm surprised she doesn't have more um, followers because she puts so much effort into her videos. It's amazing. If you've not watched her, I highly recommend her as well. Um, let me see who else. Okay, um, this one, I'll just go ahead and say it. So Jacqueline Hill. Uh, Five million subscribers. I just did a video um, a little bit ago about um, products that Jaclyn Hill made me buy. I've been watching her for years, years and years. And, you know, the mama bear in me comes out a little bit where I feel like she's she kind of goes off a little bit and I want to kind of reel her back in. She's borderline, I don't know. I'm trying to stick with her because she's so amazingly talented. I love when she does tutorials. I love watching her do her eye makeup. I love watching her, um, how she applies makeup and her techniques. Um, sometimes her lifestyle ones and sometimes, you know, she, she's a little bit, should I say like showy and, and sometimes that kind of rubs me the wrong way. And it doesn't come from a place of jealousy. It comes from a place more of like, humble like I feel like she needs to be a little more humble I guess I don't know that's my opinion you know but I do still watch her she doesn't upload very much and that's kind of concerning me because I really like watching her videos I love watching her tutorials so I wish she would upload some more tutorials but there you go um and let's see who else we're just scrolling down scrolling um goth mista this is someone, how many does she have? Um, 300,000 subscribers. This is someone that is a skincare guru, in my opinion. She 
does a lot of K-beauty. She knows a lot about K-beauty. I've gotten a lot of um, Korean beauty products, um, skincare products from her suggestions and recommendations. I love watching her videos. She's another one. When she uploads and I get a notification, I am so excited to go and watch her videos because she makes beautiful videos and she's so knowledgeable. I highly recommend her. And last but not least is the OG, in my opinion, of my YouTube watching, viewing experience, and that is Marlena Stell from Makeup Geek. Um, she is 1.3 million subscribers, and she is beautiful, funny, smart, talented. I love watching her videos. The problem is she doesn't upload a lot because she's so busy busy with her business because she owns Makeup Geek, but I really think she's a powerful, um, good influence kind of for the younger generations to see. You know, she started off on YouTube and she's built her business and her empire. I know recently Makeup Geek has um, uh, shown up in Target stores. And I just think that, you know, she's such a good role model, I think, for younger girls to, um, realize that they have potential and they could be business owners and strong women and they could be curvy women and they don't have to fit the cracker box shape and all that. I just think she's really awesome. The bummer part is she doesn't upload a ton and so you know you kind of miss that but I had to give her homage because she was the first one I ever watched on YouTube. So those are just a few. There's a lot more that I watch but those are some of the ones I wanted to highlight that aren't in the mature community that I still think are worthy of watching because I think they have a lot of talent. I think that they have some great techniques and I like watching that. So I hope you enjoyed this fun video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.